It's Tuesday, January 8th, 2013. I'm Kevin McShan, and this is the McShan Sports Beat Report. <laughs> Honestly, because I think that he thinks out of the box, and I think that he thinks of what you know what we as Oregonians love, and I think some of the innovation, some of the what goes on in Oregon, is the stuff that he really identifies with. I think Chip's a really good coach. I think it's uh, it's neat that he's going to stick around for Oregon. Yeah, we're a bit disappointed in Beaver Nation that we have to keep uh, facing these tough teams down the road, but uh, he's done a great job, and it's neat that he's going to stay in the state of Oregon. And some of those fans also told us today they wonder if Phil Knight may have helped to sweeten the pot to keep Chip around for next season. Live in Northwest Portland tonight, Jamie Wilson, the 5 o'clock news. A Eugene Ward musician pleaded with Coach Kelly to stay in his own unique way. Chip, don't go, don't you go. To Philly, Cleveland, or Buffalo, they don't have the heart or the church. Called Chip Don't Go, singer-songwriter Matt Kearney posted this video on YouTube Friday during the festival. After hearing the news that Kelly would be staying with the 
Ducks, Bernie sent out a tweet saying that Kelly called him and told him he loved the song. Comfort within the spectrum of familiarity, coupled with the notion of the greatness of the situation, and his loyalty and commitment to finishing the mission he started was the winning recipe for Oregon Ducks head coach Chip Kelly to spurn the NFL for the second consecutive year in order for him to remain in Eugene as the leader of the Quack Pack. The Oregon field boss had lengthy interview sessions over the weekend with both the Cleveland Browns and the Philadelphia Eagles. He even threw his hat in the ring to become the new head coach of the Buffalo Bills, a job that was eventually filled by Syracuse head coach and ex NFL assistant Doug Marone. During the duration of the weekend, reports surfaced that he was close to deals with both teams. At one point, the rumor mill even suggested that he was leaning in favor of assuming control of the Eagles, who fired their longtime head coach, Andy Reid, after 14 years of service in the city of brotherly love. Reed was eventually snapped up four days later by the Kansas City Chiefs to replace Romeo Crennel after a 2-14 and 14 season. As for Kelly, in the end, home was where his heart was. Kelly has just completed his fourth season at the helm of the Ducks, which included a 12-1 record and a 35-17 drubbing of the Kansas State Wildcats in this year's Fiesta Bowl. He has led the team to four consecutive BCS Bowl bursts. His resume includes an appearance in the 2011 BCS National Championship game where the Ducks were victims of defeat at the hands of the Cam Newton-led Auburn Tigers. A year later, Kelly and the Ducks rebounded as he guided his team to the winning side of the scoreboard in the 2012 Rose Bowl with a 45-38 victory over the Wisconsin Badgers. During his time in Eugene, Kelly has amassed a record of 46 and 7. Kelly's tango dance with the NFL mirrors the identical process that he endured a season ago when he flirted with the possibility of taking over the reins of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers before backing out of late negotiations to return to the college ranks. The Buccaneers eventually turned to ex Rutgers head coach Greg Schiano to fill their coaching vacancy. Kelly still has five years remaining on his contract with Oregon, where he earned a base salary of $2.8 million last season. Michael Lombardi of the NFL Network joins this conversation to discuss the perception of Kelly around the NFL and where Cleveland and Philadelphia go from here in their coaching searches after he left them alone at the altar. Michael Lombardi has also been following the front office moves pretty closely, the hires, the interviews, the speculation, and in the case of Chip Kelly, the rejections. This is two years now that he has talked to NFL teams and ultimately decided to stay at Oregon. Any idea what it is that's keeping him there? You know, it's the applause, Lindsay. I think really when you talk to a college coach, in the back of your mind, you have to know there's a good chance, a strong chance that he may not leave, that the applause, that the program that he has built from there is tough to leave. And I think that's actually what happened to Chip Kelly. I think the game winning against Kansas State, a huge win, and all the applause on the field, and all the chance for four more years from Chip, Chip Kelly, I think that impacted him. And that really decided that I don't think I want to go into pro football at this time. And I think that ultimately led to his decision to really not go after it and go back to Oregon. How do you think this affects him moving forward? Will NFL teams uh, be more wary about courting him in the future? Do they think that he's serious about the NFL? Do they, do they not risk resources courting him in the future? Well, I think what happens is you have to feel very comfortable he's committed to the NFL. I think both Cleveland and Philadelphia realized that even if Chip Kelly said he was going to come, he had to be 100% committed because 
because what happens when you have a bad year? Does he go back into college football? And I think that's why people, other teams won't be calling because of that indecision. You never want to start a program with a guy who's not fully committed. And I think ultimately that's what Chip Kelly told us this weekend in Arizona, that he couldn't commit to the NFL at this point in his career. Eagles and Browns were the teams that uh, he talked to. Where does him going back to Oregon leave those two teams? Well, they're in the process of interviewing coaches. I think both organizations understand that it was a long reach to get Chip Kelly. There was no slam dunk. I know everybody thought that was the case. But I think both organizations regroup, regroup, you know, we, we uh, interview people and start all over again. They had to make it out to see where they were with Chip Kelly. Now they'll go back and go interview an assistant coaches and perhaps find the guy that they think they can build a team around. Good stuff, Michael and Marty. Thanks a lot. This is the second consecutive year that NFL teams have come knocking at the door of one Chip Kelly attempting to put him on the precipice of NFL coaching superstardom. However, it's the second straight year that Kelly has listened and learned and ultimately turned away the opportunity to make the ultimate jump in his profession and coach in the NFL. However, you can blame the NFL teams for their persistence and their courtship of Kelly in an ongoing effort to be put on the cutting edge of innovation and to have a dynamic leader of men to criteria that Kelly fits to a team. It is still clearly evident that Kelly is deeply respected, rooted, and in the gene pool of everyone who bleeds for the Oregon Ducks each and every Saturday. And Kelly has displayed an unwavering sense of loyalty to the support and love he's received. During his time in Eugene, he feels as if he has unfinished business and a mission to complete, and one that he wants to see come to fruition before he considers making an ultimate shift in thinking when it comes to to his coaching future. He has built a solid foundation for prosperity at Oregon, one that could lead to the ultimate prize in college football sometime soon. So at the end of the day, why he remains flattered, humble, and certainly mindful of his value within the pro ranks, Kelly made the best decision for him, his family, and his team. Now the question remains, Will Kelly get another opportunity to be wooed by another NFL team who needs a shift in both philosophy and thinking? And my answer to that is relatively simple. As long as spread offenses remain on the verge of ascension around the league, NFL teams always want to be on the cutting edge of what's hip and popular, and with the success of players such as rookie sensations Robert Griffin III of the Washington Redskins and Russell Wilson of the Seattle Seahawks, Chip Kelly will always have a place in the NFL if he wants it, and while he's turned down this latest opportunity to make the jump, without a doubt, the NFL will keep his seat very warm, and it could be just a matter of time before he feels it. Kevin McShan, McShan, Sportsbeat, reports.